this Newton's third law. This is also called the law of action reaction, or sometimes it's also called the law of interaction. Okay, now it states here for every action, for every action that you have, or for every force that you exert, there is a reaction, there is also a force that is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Okay, so again, for every force that you apply in an object, the object is also going to apply a force on your hand, for example. Um, and uh, the force is going to be equal in magnitude. Those two forces are going to be equal in magnitude, but of course, they're, they're going to be opposite in direction. Okay, now let's take a look at, a look at uh, some of our examples here. Now, say you have your flying bird here. Okay, so what happens is that your bird pushes, pushes the air molecules downwards. And so in effect, the air molecules would push the body of your bird upwards. Okay, so that's the law of action reaction or the law of interaction. That means the force that this bird is, is using to push the, the air molecules downwards, that would be equal to the amount of force that the air molecules would also be using to push the, the bird's body upwards. But of course, the the direction will be opposite, okay? So again, your third law of motion, law of action reaction, it states that for every action, for every force, there is an equal amount of force, but in opposite direction. Now we have another example here. You have a swimmer, he's pushing the water backwards or downwards. And of course, in return, the water is pushing his body forward, okay? So that's your law of action reaction again. He's pushing the water um, downwards, and so the water is pushing its body upwards or forward, okay? Now, any questions with regard to your love action reaction? Can you think of any other example that you see in real life? Could it be a spaceship? Okay, what about it? Uh, how it goes up, it uses force of something to blow it up in the air. That is correct. Okay, so you have your space rockets, for example, your fumes would be uh, pushing downwards, and of course, your, your space rocket would be pushed upwards. Now, we have one example here, and you might have already seen this apparatus. This is called Newton's Cradle, and this um, demonstrates Newton's third law. Okay, now say, if I try to move one ball at this side here, what do you think would happen? Abigail said, one ball from the other side is also going to swing. Okay, so let's find out if it's correct. Okay, so again, I am going to take one ball from this side here, and I'm going to let it hit the rest of the ball there. Okay, so Abigail said, one ball from the other side will also start swinging. Okay, you see it? All right, now say, I use two balls. Okay, what happens now is that two balls from the other side, from the opposite side, would also start swinging. Okay, the same way if I take three balls, okay, and, and also the same if, say, uh, I take four balls. Okay, so again, it demonstrates Newton's third law of motion. The law of action reaction, the force is going to be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction.